Dave here with uh, another video here. I'm going to hopefully help you out with GIMP. Uh, GIMP out of the box, or if you've hit uh, the wrong reset default, uh, will generally open up with this radio button for your move tool up here. Uh, it'll have pick a layer or guide. And if this is activated, when you go to move your uh, image, it generally moves the background and what you would like to do is move the active layer and so let's change that now and and make it a default so that when every time you open up GIMP you don't have to remember to uh, set this for the move tool so the first thing we want to do is go in here and hit the move the active layer radio button let's go up here to the little left arrow open that up and tool options menu pick save options 2 and hit new entry I have already done this when you do this then you will label this move tool but let's go ahead and hit it and then you would type move tool in there and I've already done that and go ahead and set that now the next thing that you need to do is go into uh, the edit menu click on preferences and when that comes up there's a whole lot of defaults that you can set in here but we're just concerned right now with doing the move tool so let's go into tool options and we have save tool options now we're going to click that in a second in fact we'll just go ahead and click it now uh, at the bottom is move tool and a little box when you uh, run your mouse over this uh, it reads kind of like what you want the move tool to do but it just really doesn't seem to make any difference I go ahead and leave it set but the primary thing is to save tool options now after you uh, do what I previously showed you to do with the uh, radio button so we're gonna go ahead and click that we we'll hit save tool options now and hit OK and uh, now when we close GIMP let's close it and don't save it to the images go ahead and close it let's open up GIMP and now when we have our move, move tool uh, activated you'll see that it opens up with move the active layer so this should solve this little problem for you and uh, we're going to cover uh, uh, sometimes this image window isn't in the right place either it's behind your toolbar so we're going to cover that in another video and hope you enjoyed this one thanks for watching